Welcome to CSL TV. And I just hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed day now. Now, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And it's just a review, a reaction, an informational channel. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too biggie about it. Um, for the folks that's been rocking with me, hey, I hope you're having a beautiful day as well as everybody else. Uh, we about to get into some crazy shit. Y'all already know what we on. So if you haven't already, like I said, um, go ahead and get your water, your coffee and everything. And I just hope you guys be safe. Have a beautiful day. And you already know. Let's get it. This Air National Guardsman from Tennessee was arrested after applying for a hitman job on a parody site. Rentahitman.com boasts fake testimonials of people that use the service, and there's even a fake app where you can apply to be an assassin. The 21-year-old didn't know it was a joke and submitted his resume and ID forms. On his application, he said he was an expert marksman and wanted the job to help support his family. The criminal complaint says the owner of the site reached out to the FBI and an undercover agent pretending to be a recruiter spoke with Garcia. The agent said he appeared to be eager to do the phony job and agreed he could kill someone for five grand. That's when the FBI arrested him. For more... So y'all think he gonna uh, tase him? Y'all think he gonna pull his ass out the car and tase him? Get your ass out now. I haven't done anything, Get officer. I haven't done anything, officer. What a Am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? Come out of the car. Am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? In your hand. You're under arrest. For what? Yes. For what? Get your ass out of the car. Alright, fine. Just get out. Out? Out right now. Out of the car. Out of the car. Taser deployment. On the ground. Out of the car. On the ground. On the ground. Ah! I told you! Hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. situation he was not acting like no police officer he was acting like a goddamn thug a criminal all that shit people want to call him and you know what i'm saying he act like that was his uh what's the words we got nowadays that was his uh that's how he was acting but anyway um he put him in a coma they put him in a coma for three days he permanently fucked up i hope he got a hundred million dollars from the uh well, uh, from the city, you know what I'm saying? From the state that this happened in. I hope he got a hundred million dollars because that shit right there is crazy. And this is the type of situation I'd be like, what makes people want to be like that? Half these folks be in these good positions and be abusing their power on it. Like, hell yes, somebody would love to be like that. You know what I'm saying? To be in that position if that's what they really want. 